in this video we are going to talk about data manipulation and output tool in Altrix. So as we know that Altrix is a tool that is used for the purposes of data cleaning as well. Right. So what we are going to do today is actually I'm going to show you how to clean the data if inconsistencies are present using the data manipulation tool in Altrix. Okay. So this is the sample superstore data set that we downloaded and as I have already told you that it is a super clean data set. There are no inconsistencies in this data set. So what I have done is I have introduced an inconsistency and that is in this furniture. What I have done is I have actually added some uh, leading white spaces in this category furniture. I have added some leading white spaces. Now let us add some more in this subcategory field. Okay, so there is this chairs. I'm just going to replace this chairs value and introduce some leading white spaces. So around three white spaces would be good and replace all the values out of here. Okay, so 791 replacements were made. And this is the change that I have done to introduce some inconsistencies into our data set and to see that how can we solve it using Altrix. Now using control S, let me just save this Excel file and close this Excel file. Right. So let's create a new workflow, new workflow three over here and uh, just import this data set. So let's just use this input data. And what we're going to do is connect it to a file. So this is the data set that we have and the orders sheet click on. Okay. So now, um, as you can see, there is nothing that's been shown over here. Let's just add a browse tool. Now there is another way through adding a browse tool that you can just right click over here. And there is this option add browse after and the shortcut for the same is control shift B. So you can just add it and click on run. Now, once you do that, what would happen is uh, you would get this kind of a message and of course the records would be shown over here. Okay. So the profiles are being shown over here. Now the changes we made were in the category. Okay. So let's just see the category and the subcategory right now. The changes were made in the category and the subcategory fields. Now if you just hover over this category field, there are few records that are not okay. Right. The red line is being shown over here and um, that is around 21.22% records that are not okay in the category field because the inconsistency is there. Similarly, in the subcategory field as well, there is 6.17 records, 6.17% uh, records that are not okay represented by red. So if you just show the category over here and just split the view. So over here, we had been shown the category field and here let's just go with the subcategory field. So here is the subcategory field. Okay. So now what we get, first of all, let's take a look at the category field that is uh, 7000 uh, some records are OK, but 2121 records are not OK. Now, what is the reason uh, that these records are not OK? These are the values with leading white space. How many values? 2121 values. OK. Similarly, if we just talk about the subcategory over here, so we have 617 records that are not OK represented in the red color. And what is the issue? The issue is the values with the leading white space. So these are some of the inconsistencies that would be shown into your data profile only. Okay. So how do we uh, just get rid of these inconsistencies, right? So what do you need to do is search for that particular column over here. Here as well, you can see that the mark of not okay is being shown over here represented by red and the rest is green in category and subcategory fields. Okay in the output pane and the values that are inconsistent have been marked as red and the message is the cell has leading spaces the cell has leading spaces so whatever the inconsistency is it's been automatically shown to you by Altrix now how do we manipulate it how do we clean it you need to select the column which has inconsistency click on these three dots here we have the option of data cleanse so uh, you can just go to this data cleanse option uh, just a second and here we have remove unwanted characters and in the remove unwanted characters, the first option is leading slash trailing white space. So that means any of the uh, leading or the trailing white spaces, if there would be removed. So just select that option and click on apply. Now it's going to take a few seconds and the changes would be applied. 
now once the changes have been applied you can see the red mark in the category has gone from here uh, we can see them all correctly the furniture leading spaces have been removed if you want to cross check it uh, let's just bring up the category field once again here so if you see right now ok is changed to a hundred percent similarly we can do the same thing for the subcategory field as well we can go to subcategory data cleanse remove unwanted characters leading trailing white space and click on apply now again it's going to take a few seconds and the changes would be applied in order to cross check it you can just go to this subcategory option over here and the ok has been changed to a hundred percent now again uh, run the workflow so if you again run the workflow the inconsistencies would be uh, introduced once again and why is that because now what we are getting is we are again getting the data from input that means Alteryx only makes changes into the format of the data that is brought in front of it not on the original files okay so that's why uh, using the browse tool the changes that have been made are only made onto this uh, data that has been used in Alteryx right now once we have changed the data what we need to do is actually make use of this data right so what i'm going to do is output this data into an excel file but not on to a single sheet into multiple sheets so how do we do that for this we use the output data tool of this in out category so output data tool let's just bring it up now what i'm going to do with this output data tool is I'm going to select the category as the criteria so uh, what I'm going to do or what I'm planning to do is actually use this category over here uh, to output the data right or basically use a segment to output the data uh, so what would happen is all the data's uh, all three sh uh, separate sheets would be created right so uh, if you just apply this segment if you just take a look at the segment field just a second okay so now if we take a look at this segment then what we are getting is that there are three unique values so that means three different sheets would be created in the excel file so for this what we need to do is go to this output tool uh, click on this arrow here and go to files and select file so basically we are selecting the location where our file needs to be saved now provide a name for the file let's say output excel okay and make sure that in the save as type it is uh, selected as uh, an excel file or a microsoft excel with the extension xls or xlsx because then only you would be able to create multiple sheets in case you decide to save it as an Alteryx database so multiple sheets in that case is not possible okay click on save now uh, it would ask you to specify the name of a sheet we can just go with sheet 1 and click on ok right uh, now what would happen is if you just click on this tool here we have this configuration panel in this you need to just check this option that is take file slash uh, table name from field then there is this drop down from this drop down you have to select the third option which is change file slash table name now what would happen is this would allow you to select the column on the basis of which you want to create different sheets right so uh, here we can just use the drop down to select the value and that is a segment so you can just select the segment once you have done all the steps then you need to use this uh, control r or run button to just run the workflow then you can see that the uh, dialog box would be there showing the time taken and if you just click on this uh, messages uh, that is this three hamburger menu over here you will see that these three sheets were created consumer corporate and the home office sheets and the number of records that were written into each of these sheets to cross check what you can do is go to that particular folder which was present in my desktop here output excel uh, the excel sheet that has been created and you can see that there are three sheets that are available 
the consumer sheet, the corporate sheet and the home office sheet. Now each of these sheets has the data that is split according to their segments. All the home office data in this sheet, all the corporate data in this sheet and all the consumer data in this sheet. So this is how the output tool in Alteryx works. The output data tool is used to output the multiple Excel sheets. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.